we are in a room in a boat heading towards Bashan Island. It's right there. Home of Roger and Bridget Lehet. Um, and Unforgettable Fire, where we're gonna go install this stove so you guys can see how it's done. All right. A little footage pre-stove here. Well, things are looking ugly. Step two, we've got the subfloor in, which is essentially three pieces of two by four. Um, it's basically toenailed in to my plywood floor. I don't know if you can see through there. There's the ground right there, the pavement. So that's good. That's where my external air induction is gonna go. So we've got a couple ways to attach this stove. We can remove the bolts from the bottom of it and we can get underneath the chassis and locate where those three bolts would go. And we could get long bolts to replace what holds the, the base assembly onto the body mm -hmm. and come all the way up through. Now if we're going to do that, we've got to drill through these tiles correctly, the subfloor here, this subfloor here, it's a lot, it's going to be a lot of bloody work to do that. But that's a, a possibility if that's the way you want to go. Mm -hmm. I would per personally be happy if we go ahead and attach this frame down to the floor really good and tight, mm -hmm. and we go over it with the three quarter, and then we go over that with your um, hardy backer, mm -hmm. your flame proof thing. At that point in time, we'll put three holes in that base and bolt the base of it down to this. Then we'll cut the tiles and we'll put it around the base. It'll be a lot easier. Save us a gut for like three hours worth of <laughs> maddening work. Sound good? Yeah, Check I agree. Out. I think we have a plan. Okay. All right, folks. So, folks, bought myself some Minwax Red Mahogany, just because I think it's pretty. And painted my board away, a little standing. Probably going to do a couple coats on this. You're looking good. I'm using this as my trim to uh, cover all that subfloor, all the edges of the subfloor. So hopefully when it's done, everything is going to look all pretty. And yeah, we'll see. You guys see if you like the final product. Oh yeah, she's shining, blinging. Cool. Yeah. We put in an air inlet in a really small space like a motorhome or a boat. You really don't want the option of depleting all the oxygen in the unit with the uh, burning of the wood. So. This two inch piece of ABS pipe will just drop down below the rig and it'll come up. It'll we'll cut a hole in the uh, subfloor here so the air will be allowed at the base of the fireplace so that it is, it's consuming its oxygen, it can take it from outside. Smart and safe. And there's the induction right there. We're going to have to trim it down because it's kind of close to the tire, but pretty cool. Okay. It's about to get real. Ah. <laughs> so we're going to run this pipe up through this cabinet, up through that roof. And to do it safely, we're gonna use this big chunk of what was gas stove chimney to run that pipe through this cabinet, nice and safe. So you can keep the Cheerios and the chocolate next to the chimney without melting a thing. This is stand up inside here in a few minutes. Yeah. And then we'll just run the pipe right up straight to the roof. There we have it. Yay! So I basically just used some pretty much general purpose stretchable sealant right there. General construction sealant to seal up my outside air induction tube around the corner. That way we don't get any unwanted drafts. Only drafts directly in the stove. Oh yeah. Well, folks, we just got the hole cut in the roof and um, got the pipe through. And yeah, check this out. Got the little girl situated. We're just kind of, nothing's bolted down. Reason being, we want to make sure that pipe is pretty level with the window, which it is. We got our hole cut there. And it comes through there, straight up out the roof. And right up to the flashing. Boom.
Step two, sealing the roof. Uh, 208 wet sealant, Henry's wet sealant, which it's actually raining and we still install even in the water, which is pretty amazing stuff. Seals anything, so. Anyway, we get the flashing on there. Put uh, the cock up under the flashing, a whole bunch of it, and you smash the flashing down and it squirts out the sides. And then you just kind of paste over with your thumb, get it all smoothed out. And this is the stuff you use. It's kind of dark in here. Henry's used by professionals. SBS rubber modified wet patch roof cement. What you want, good stuff. I'll probably do some kind of uh, lap sealant uh, made for RV rubberized roofs on top of that cock later on. I like this stuff, the Dicor product. Pretty good stuff, just self leveling. So there's the first fire here we've got going. Yeah, really. Day wow. one. Got the construction marginally finished in here, but we just couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> <laughs> Play on fire. Yep. Okay, so here we got our air tube coming up through the bottom. Nice stout framing here. Screw down to the floor really good. I'm gonna drop this little plywood top on here. Notice we got the whole cut here. Air can now come up through the base of the trailer into this and right into the base of the stove. Timmy went out of his way here and put in some nice metal paneling behind that is dead air space so that air cool air can flow up between the wall and the panel and keep the walls all nice and cool we got the uh, concrete board down got the air induction hole cut in right there so if you can see it there's the air tube to the outside right there get it nice and flush with the outside of the subfloor So what we're doing there is making four different attachment points for the stove uh, to be bolted down to the floor here. Looking good, man. Yeah, nice. Looking good. Nice. You can see we're setting the uh, bolts for the Kimberly here actually mount it to the floor so uh when we're done should be a good solid mount and be able to take speed bumps or what have you hopefully no speed bumps but you never know no smoke coming out yeah, but a little bit no pyro in you <laughs> <laughs> what did you come on who are you talking to